Are you a fan of classic Hollywood cinema? If so, you might find yourself reminiscing about the 1978 movie Revenge of the Pink Panther. Starring the iconic Peter Sellers as the bumbling Inspector Jack Clouseau, this film is a delightful addition to the Pink Panther series. But here's a question for you, what classic Hollywood actor in this movie was your favorite, and why? Revenge of the Pink Panther is a comedy classic that continues the misadventures of the beloved Clouseau. It's a film that has left its mark on many, but is there a particular scene or moment in this movie that has had a lasting impact on you? Perhaps it's one of Clouseau's comical escapades or a witty one-liner that still makes you smile. Now, we're eager to hear your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie. Feel free to share your stories and memories in the comments below. Your insights and anecdotes can help keep the spirit of this classic film alive for new generations of moviegoers. Let's delve into some interesting facts about the show. In the 1978 movie Revenge of the Pink Panther, one notable fact is the extensive travel involved in shooting the film. The cast and crew covered more than 25,000 miles, spanning locations from Paris and the French Riviera to eastern settings in Hong Kong. This widespread shooting added a diverse backdrop to the film's story, creating a visually captivating experience for the audience. Additionally, the movie reintroduces Herbert Lom as Chief Inspector Charles Dreyfus, a character who had previously blackmailed the entire world and seemingly disintegrated in the previous film, The Pink Panther Strikes Again. However, in Revenge of the Pink Panther, there's no mention of these past events, leaving fans to speculate whether Dreyfus had created the previous story in his mind while in a mental hospital or if the filmmakers simply chose to ignore continuity for the sake of bringing back the comedic interaction between Peter Sellers and Herbert Law. Lastly, the film's trailer humorously refers to Jack Clouseau as Henry Clouseau several times, in a nod to the disguise of Henry de Toulouse Lautrec that Clouseau is shown wearing. This play on names adds a lighthearted element to the movie's promotion. These intriguing details add depth to the Revenge of the Pink Panther story, making it an entertaining installment in the Pink Panther series. The theme music of the Henry Mancini Pink Panther series took on a disco vibe in the 1978 film Revenge of the Pink Panther. The iconic theme was given a 1970s disco makeover, featuring a funky bass line, electric piano, and even a groovy guitar solo. This dancey disco feel wasn't limited to just the music, it also influenced the film's score and soundtrack. This change in musical style added a fresh and contemporary touch to the movie, aligning it with the disco craze of the era. It was a departure from the traditional Pink Panther sound and reflected the cultural trends of the time. This musical transformation was just one of the elements that contributed to the overall experience of Revenge of the Pink Panther. The film, released in 1978, is known for its playful and lighthearted approach to the Pink Panther franchise. It brought a modern twist to the classic series, making it an entertaining installment for fans of the bumbling Inspector Jack Clouseau. Revenge of the Pink Panther offered a unique blend of humor and music, creating a memorable chapter in the Pink Panther series. It's fascinating to see how the film embraced the disco era, making it stand out from its predecessors. If Peter Sellers had not passed away, the next film in the franchise, the potential romance of the Pink Panther, might have continued this delightful journey. However, we can only imagine what could have been. During the filming of the 1978 movie Revenge of the Pink Panther, a royal visit added a touch of humor to the set. All three House of Windsor princes, King Charles III, Prince Andrew, and Prince Edward, paid a visit. However, their presence didn't always go smoothly. King Charles III once apologized, saying, I'll never get it right if I keep laughing in the middle. This unexpected royal interruption provided a moment of levity during the production of the film, giving the cast and crew a memorable and amusing anecdote to remember. Filming for Revenge of the Pink Panther faced a significant delay when Peter Sellers suffered a heart attack in March 1977. This unexpected setback temporarily halted production, raising concerns about the film's completion. Sellers' health struggles added a layer of uncertainty to the project leaving the cast and crew in suspense. However, they eventually resumed filming, and the movie made its way to the silver screen. This incident highlighted the challenges faced during the making of the film, and the dedication of all involved to bring it to fruition, despite the setbacks. 
Peter Sellers' final official appearance as Inspector Klauso is in the 1978 movie Revenge of the Pink Panther. The next sequel, Trail of the Pink Panther, consisted of outtakes and unused scenes from The Pink Panther Strikes Again. This film marks the end of Sellers' portrayal of the iconic character. Revenge of the Pink Panther provided one last opportunity for fans to enjoy Peter Sellers' comedic genius as Inspector Klauso before the series took a different direction with the use of previously unreleased footage in the following installment. While the film was known for its humor and entertainment, it's worth noting that during the shooting in Hong Kong, a memorable incident occurred. A policeman saw Bert Quauk, who played Kato, steal a motor scooter for a scene, and actually chased and arrested him. It took several hours to convince the cop that it was all part of the movie, highlighting the real-life adventures that sometimes occurred behind the scenes. In one particular scene, Klauso, played by Peter Sellers, dons his godfather suit and delivers some humorous Italian words, Mamma Mia, Spaghettino, Al Pacino, and Viva Zapata. This moment added a touch of comedy and cultural reference to the film, showcasing the comedic talents of Sellers. Revenge of the Pink Panther is a significant entry in the Pink Panther series, not only for its humor but also as Peter Sellers' final official appearance as Inspector Klauso. The film is a testament to Sellers' comedic legacy, and these unique behind-the-scenes incidents provide an interesting glimpse into the making of this classic comedy. The 1978 movie Revenge of the Pink Panther holds a unique place in the Pink Panther series. It's the fifth installment and marked the final live collaboration between Peter Sellers and Blake Edwards, the actor and director behind the Pink Panther franchise. This movie was also a significant point in the relationship between the two, as the opening credits listed as a Sellers, Edwards production, hinting at Peter Sellers' desire to take more control over the future of the series. In fact, Sellers was already working on the next Pink Panther movie, tentatively titled Romance of the Pink Panther, with plans to direct it himself. This dynamic between Sellers and Edwards added an interesting layer of intrigue behind the scenes. Additionally, Revenge of the Pink Panther played a role in reviving Diane Cannon's career, as it marked her return to the screen after a four-year hiatus. She once said, It's so much fun filming a Pink Panther. We just laugh our way through each day's shooting. This insight into the film's production highlights the lighthearted and humorous atmosphere on set. Revenge of the Pink Panther is not just a film but a piece of cinematic history, with these behind-the-scenes details offering a glimpse into the dynamics and creative forces at play during its making. It's a testament to the enduring appeal of the Pink Panther franchise and the people who brought it to life. As we bid adieu to the timeless classic, Revenge of the Pink Panther, we invite you to embark on a journey down memory lane, revisiting the enchanting world of Inspector Jacques Clauso. This cinematic masterpiece, released in 1978, has left an indelible mark on the hearts of countless movie enthusiasts across the globe. Now, we encourage you to pause for a moment and reflect on your personal connection with this iconic film. Perhaps it was the bumbling yet endearing Klauso, portrayed by the legendary Peter Sellers, that drew you in, or maybe it was the hilarious and absurd capers that kept you on the edge of your seat. Whether you laughed until your sides ached or marveled at the intricacies of Klauso's slapstick brilliance, Revenge of the Pink Panther holds a unique place in your cinematic journey. We invite you to share your fondest memories, your most cherished scenes, or the impact this film has had on your life. Did it inspire a love for comedy, detective tales, or the magic of the silver screen itself? Your thoughts and reflections are the lifeblood of the cinematic community, connecting us across time and space. Thank you for taking the time to revisit this classic gem with us. Your passion and memories enrich the tapestry of film history, and we are grateful for your interest. Until next time, keep those memories alive and keep the love for cinema burning bright. And remember, this reflection was crafted just for you.